so hello and welcome and in this video we are going to print the prime number between the range of 1 to 1000 that question is asked in a coding round of Nagaro in 2020 so basically in the last month okay so let's get started so for this we take two loops one is loop one loop is for getting generating the numbers and the second one is for check whether the number is prime or not so let's get started start from for i in range from 1 to 1000 and the next one is basically for j in range from 1 to j and inside this we check whether the number is prime or not so for this if i divided by j is equal to equal 0 so we just increase a counter like a one and for this we should declare this variable like zero okay so if number is not divided by itself it's just print else part and just provide pass so pass is just like uh, not doing anything in that section okay so after then we check if the if count is equal equals one just print just increment the number of total prime like so for this you have to also mention this variable like uh, and it goes to zero this is in a slice initially the total number of counts total number of prime numbers okay and the, in the else part we just provide pass pass again okay so this code will return the first this code will return to how many numbers lie in between the range of 1 to 1000 and these are the prime numbers so if i run this code let's take uh, okay to save us prime okay save. so there's some error the name j is not defined okay so name j is not defined so don't worry in range k okay. So what's wrong with this? Okay, let's print this one. Okay, let's read. Print and let's see. Done. So let's make comment of this count. Okay. One to J. Okay, so J is not defined. So basically, from the place of J, we have to provide I. Now it's very fine. So okay, so as you can see, one sixty-eight is output. So, so one sixty-eight. 168 prime numbers will lie in between the range of 1 to 1000 so if you want to print all the count number in all the prime numbers so just provide the, the print and i inside this and it will return all the prime number like this so as you can these all the prime numbers like this so sorry where's the output okay, let me show you guys again okay so you 739 749 751 these are all the prime numbers like uh so it is not divided by anyone these are all, all the 168 prime numbers okay so that's how so let me explain this code so first n is cos one is total number of initial prime numbers so we're starting a loop so let n is equal to zero okay so we are iterate from i to one to the thousand so it will iterate from one to nine 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 so as we know the inner range function it start from the beginning but stop in the less one at the end and the c is basically count for checking whether a number is prime or not so after then we start second loop like a j in a range and we start from the one until the actual number like uh, suppose i is equal to two so we start from i is equal to one so if i is divided by one equals to zero that condition is true so basically c is cos c increment by one so c is equals to one and the when the i is equals to two sorry j is equals to two then it will be written as it will return zero because else part so c is equals to one and the we just increment the number of prime so just one okay so we provide the range between 10 okay so let's say what is it put so i hope there are seven seven numbers are there sorry seven four numbers are there okay okay so as you can see two three five seven are our prime numbers and the total count is four 
so this is all about the prime number let me comment out this code so let's comment now this is basically for initial count of prime number and this is also okay this is basically for your chat count for checking whether number is prime or not whether number is prime or not this one is done this is condition it will increment total prime numbers by one if condition true condition will true okay so this will print all the count this is for printing prime numbers this one this one is optional because this is basically for printing prime numbers for printing prime numbers okay let's run again so these are all the prime numbers if you remove this one like we comment out this one so between again this like this 168 will output let me show you guys so okay so this is okay. No six. Oh my God! Just restarted. Okay, so one sixty-eight. The total number of prime numbers was like in the range from one to thousand. One sixty-eight. Okay, so so these all about in this video, and in the next video, I will solve the another coding problem that is asked in the Nagato coding round. So thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.